हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय स्टडी चैनल केमिस्ट्री राइट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल बाय क्लिकिंग ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू नेवर मिस एनी अपडेट्स हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू वन केमिकल कन्वर्शन दैट वन इज फ्रॉम इथानॉल और इथाइल अल्कोहल टू एसीटोन और प्रोपानोन एंड द रिवर्स प्रोसेस दैट इज एसिनटोन और प्रोपानोन टू इथाइल अल्कोहल और इथानॉल so let's start it so first let's write the formula of ethyl alcohol ch3 ch2 oh write the name ethanol so now if we do partial oxidation by pcc then this alcohol will convert into aldehyde and the product will be acetaldehyde okay in alcohol if you do partial oxidation by adding pcc as a reagent then you will get acetaldehyde now if you use grignard reagent then you will get ch3 okay the CS3 MGBR Grignard reagent, the MGBR portion will add with oxygen and CS3 will add with the carbon atom. Now, if you do hydrolysis, then you will get a 2 degree alcohol. Okay, so this is propane to all. propane to all now in 2 degree alcohol if you do oxidation then you will get ketone okay so here you can see this is propanone or acetone or acetone so this is the process from ethanol to propanol first convert the ethanol into acetaldehyde then use grignard reagent and then do hydrolysis you will get a 2 degree alcohol here it is propane to all then do oxidation of the 2 degree alcohol and you will get ketone here it is propanol or acetone now let's see the reverse process now if you add here lithium aluminium hydride if you do reduction then this ketone will convert into alcohol here the alcohol is 2 degree alcohol that is propane to all right now in this propane to all if you use concentrated sulfuric acid and then heat then water will be removed from this product and you will get alkene here it is propene now in propane if you use HBr and H2O2 that is anti-Markovnikov rules then this bromine will add with that carbon atom where maximum number of hydrogen is present. So the product will be CH3, CH2, CH2, Br. Now this is methane ethan propane, one bromopropane. Right? Now in this one bromopropane, if you use aqueous KOH, then this bromine halogen will convert into al alcohol, OH group will introduce, then the product will be CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. So this is you can see propanol or propane one all. 
right now in propanol if you do oxidation then you will get acid here acid will be propanoic acid right then use ammonia and apply heat then this acid will convert into amide so the product will be this propanamide now if you do hoffman bromide reaction by using br2 and koh then co group will be removed and the product will be ch3 ch2 nh2 amine ethylamine now in ethylamine if you use sodium nitrate and hcl then this amine will convert into alcohol and the product will be ch3 ch2 oh that is ethanol or you can say ethyl alcohol so this is the reverse process from acetone to the whole process is going and then you are getting at least ethanol so what is that process first from acetone to use lithium aluminium hydride do reduction then the ketone will convert into alcohol then use concentrated h2so4 and heat then water will be replaced and you will get from alcohol to alkene then use hbr in presence of h2o2 do the anti markov nikov rules then you will get this product one bromopropan then use aqueous koh the bromine will convert into oh then do oxidation alcohol is converting into acid then you are using ammonia and heat this is amide then do hoffman bromide degradation reaction then you are getting amine then nno2 and hcl ultimately you are getting your desired product that is ethanol so hope this conversion is helpful to you all if it is helpful then please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also share this video thank you